Well, there's that introduction out of the way. And unfortunately, I have to do my introductions again because it turns out my mic was actually switched off. I forgot to switch it on. I do apologise, folks. So once again, greetings, YouTube. I am Dark Swordsman 123 your host. And today we are going to be beginning our Final Fantasy VIII Remastered walkthrough. So let's go ahead and get on into it here. So obviously at this precise moment in time there's not a, pardon me, a great deal we can do. Uh, so now we have the opportunity to name our main character. Uh, I'm going to stick with Squall, just purely because one, I'm not very creative when it comes to coming up with names, and two, I prefer Squall anyway, so... Well, I prefer the name Squall, I mean. Um, so as you can see, uh, we are currently uh, recovering from our injuries from that little skirmish with uh, Cypher. I suppose I should try and read out some of this text, shouldn't I? Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. Scroll, is there something on your mind? Not really. What's so funny? Funny? No, no, it's not that. I'm just happy. I feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little, that's all. I'm more complex than you think. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. It's none of your business? Just got our first look at the mighty Balan Garden. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. There seem to have been some rumours flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Meet in the hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? Oh, and Cypher? Do not injure your partner while training, please. Be careful from now on. Field exam participants, I will see you all later. And Squall, I need to talk to you. Well, before we go ahead and talk to uh, Christus, we're actually going to go ahead here and approach the terminal when it lets us. Yep, we'll go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to go on to the tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and pick up our first two Guardian Forces, which is uh, Quasgot. Sorry, Quascot even. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. 
And of course the legendary Shiva known throughout most of the Final Fantasies. But of course, ooh, <clears throat> you can name them whatever you want. So yeah, we're done here now. We'll go ahead and shut that off. I mean, there are other tutorials and stuff there. Feel free to go ahead and uh, access them. So we'll go ahead here and set up our first abilities to learn. So I recommend the first ones that you learn are boost. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and talk to uh, Christus. You haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? You won't be able to take part in today's seed exam if you don't pass this pre prequisite. Oh, such an awkward word to pronounce. I was going to do this this morning, but Cypher... Hmm, do you have a good excuse? Not really. Then let's get going. If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting on the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. Well, that will be the study panel that we accessed um, not too long ago, actually, where we uh, obtained our first two guardian forces. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Oof. Are you okay? There. Tee hee, I'm fine. I was kind of in a hurry. Oh yeah, hey, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Ooh, no. This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Oh, hey. I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? Yeah, sure, why not? Woohoo! All right, let's go. As you can see, Selfie is quite energetic. We'll take the elevator to the uh, F1 lobby and I'll show you the directory. But before we do that, we want to talk to this guy here because we can get our first set of uh, playing cards from him. And although he says that he doesn't know how to play the game, he actually is a CC member later on. But we'll get into that later on when the time comes. make our way down the stairs then. I'm not going to go ahead and read out all this dialogue as well, as it is just a tutorial.
maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training at my previous garden. I'm taking the seed exam today too. Good luck to both of us then. Right then, so we can actually use the terminal to get to the front gate, but where's the fun in that? Instead, I think we'll head down there on foot. So I'm going to go ahead here and just equip ourselves with Shiva. I'm having to get used to these new controls because they've moved the buttons around, which is really annoying. It used to be circle to access the inventory. here and access this draw point. Give ourselves a couple of cures. I have a few things to explain before we head off. Guardian forces give us strength. The stronger the guardian force, the stronger we become. So here's a brief explanation on junctioning a guardian force well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip the tutorial because I really don't need it. But by all means, if you're starting out, feel free to uh, have a gander at the tutorial. Once we get to the fire cavern, I'll explain how to junction magic. Use the command draw during battle and stock magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stock. Let's just go ahead here and set Christus up. Right then. So the first thing we're actually going to do here is make our way down towards Balam Town. And we're going to see about getting our hands on a few potions and things. Bolts you can draw scan from, but I'm not going to bother. I recommend avoiding levelling your characters up too much if you can help it, but by all means go after the uh, AP to unlock your Guardian Forces abilities. say four of those and right now I don't think we need to worry too much about high potions so we'll go ahead and just grab ourselves a few of these just to keep ourselves well stocked and then uh, to end the episode we're going to go and well I'm, I'm going to show you a couple of places where you can gain a decent amount of AP the first of them being the beach down here enemies down here give off a good 3 AP at a time 
or you can go to the forest down near the fire cavern and you can go after the T-Rex saws which dish out 10 AP a time but beware the T-Rex saw is a formidable opponent so I do recommend being very careful if you're going to grind against it. However, there is another monster within the forest actually that we could do going after because they drop an item that will allow us to teach Christus an ability. So first of all I'll just quickly show you the monsters down here, let me speed this up a second. So we pull out our guardian forces here, as I said these ones dish out 3 AP a time. So taking on two of them will give you a grand total of six, and they usually come in pairs, so you're walking out with six AP at a time. There we go. And just like that, we've now learnt boost. So we'll go ahead now and choose our next abilities to learn. And I recommend the next one to learn should be probably the, either the card ability or this one here, the T Magic RF, which allows you to refine lightning and wind magic from items. You will also want to unlock HPJ as soon as possible as well. Um, with Shiva here, we can go ahead straight onto the Eye Magic RF, which is refining water and ice magic from an item. So now I'm going to put no encounters on for a second, and I'm going to quickly uh, waltz over to here a moment. And I'm going to try and show you some of the monsters that are in here next. Obviously, if you come up against the uh, stronger of the two then I will be running for it for now. Ah, here we go, the Capilla. The Capilla has the item we want in order to teach Christus one of her limit breaks. So I'm going to go ahead here and just wipe them all out with Shiva I think.
that's annoying. We didn't pull the item I wanted, I don't think. Maybe I did speed through that a bit quickly. No, I didn't. Alright, we'll try again. Pull the item on after. There we go, spider spike. And with it, Quistus can learn her blue magic ultra waves. So we'll go ahead and teach her that. Now, there is another monster that we can find in here called the T Rex Sword, which is the tougher one out of the two. But for now, I think we're going to count our blessings and leave it. And in fact, actually, I think that pretty much takes care of the introductions. So, I'm going to kill this bite bug off a second, and then I'm going to call the episode there, I think. And we'll pick things up next time, where we shall make our way across to the fire caverns. So I'm going to uh, call the episode here and I'll do a quick bit of grinding while I'm off camera just to try and um, beef up my guardian forces for the fire cabin. cabin. I suggest you guys do the same and I will catch you on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today then let me know in the comments section, hit that like button or even be subscribed to the Dark Swordsman uh, Gaming Guides channel. Until next time then, bye bye for now.